Go ahead, sir. Hey, peace and love, Eddie. Peace and love. Peace yeah. and love. Mike from uh, Huber Heights, Ohio. Hey, Mike. I am. I've listened to your show the other day when you did the mailbag segment, and mm -hmm. you talked a little bit about White Lion. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about Vito. Are, do you, are you still friendly with Vito? And yeah. are we ever going to see Vito in the music scene again? I don't think Vito Brada is a guy that I am asked about constantly, like literally almost daily in some way, whether it's social media or this or on the phones or whatever. And I tell him that I, every time I talk to him, I tell him how many people ask me about him, and he's like, really? He says, no. no clue but uh i to answer your question yes i am still in touch with him not every day but we're still in touch we're still friends i don't uh i whether he'd ever play again or do anything again i mean i really can't say i feel strongly that that would happen he but then again potentially uh, maybe somewhere down the line because right now his focus is taking care of his mom who's elderly and his brother um, and I think that uh, it's very admirable what he's doing I mean it's very easy for people to say he should be out there playing and all that and yeah we'd all love to hear him play but two things first of all not everybody is lifers for this business there's people that make their mark and they're happy with it and content and they get out and I know more than more people, I know a lot of people like that. But the other thing that people don't realize is that we see a lot of these artists just as these musicians that we love, that we want them to do what we love them for. Forgetting sometimes that there's a human aspect, that they're people, they have families, they have commitments. And for Vito, you know, his mom is elderly. I know his mom, she's a wonderful woman, and he is looking after her. So. Somewhere down the line, maybe, but I, I don't, in talking to him, it doesn't seem like he really has the drive to want to do it. And you've got to have the drive to want to do it because the record industry now is radically different than when he was in it. So you've got to, you've got to be active on social media. You've got to work it. You've got to push it. You've got to want to get out there. You've got to want to be playing not the most high-profile gigs. Some people just don't want to do that anymore. And I don't know how he's going to be and if he ever gets to that point. But he and I are still in touch. And I'll tell you this, uh, I actually got him. Now, he didn't do an interview with me. The last radio inter interview he did with me, which was like 13 years ago. But he did do an interview in print recently that I actually set up for him. Okay. And it's in Guitar World magazine. So if you get or look for or can source Guitar World, which is a great magazine, even if you don't play guitar, there was a, a writer by the name of Matt Wake that contacted me. And all I did was whenever I get requests for Vito, I'll just email them to him. And it's up to him if he responds. But in that case, he responded. And he agreed to do an interview with Guitar World because he, he had said that they were one of the first magazines to ever put him on the cover. And it meant a lot to him back in the day. So he wanted to do an interview. And he did. And that interview came out a couple months ago. So if you find that issue of the magazine, it's kind of like an anim it's kind of like a drawing. It says like '80s guitar heroes, mm -hmm. and there's a brand new interview with Vito Brada in there. Cool. And uh, it's it's definitely and it's online too. I've actually tweeted the link to it a couple times. So find that. That's at least you can hear a little bit of what his perspective is now. But I I would always work on him to come back out and do stuff. I just don't see him doing it anytime in the immediate future. I hope I'm wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it's something he's really interested in. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.